Today's boredom buster is called Stuck in the Middle, and thankfully for you, you will not be the one stuck in the middle. It's going to be these bouncy balls. And to play, all you need are some bouncy balls and two plastic cups per person. You'll notice that these are both games from our game pantry, which is just our handful of essential items that if you have on hand, you can have hours of endless play. I recommend it for any family. I will put a link to where you can see what's in our game pantry as well. I think they're the great supplies to keep on hand. So now to play this particular game. The basics of it is that you're going to have two cups, you want to bounce one ball and see if you can get it stuck in the middle between the two cups. Just like that. If you want to level up some more, you can try it with two balls, and what I like to do with this level up challenge is you're going to try and get one of the balls in one of the cups, then you've got to put your hand over the side of it and then try to catch the second one. Let's see if I can do it. So we're going to catch this one, make sure I cover it. Ah, nope, <laughs> totally missed it. Let's try that again. In the cup. Ah, success right there. So that is one fun way to level up. Another thing that you can do is to turn this into a team game. And in that case, everybody starts with their one bouncy ball. And say you have a group of six, then you can say, on this first round, everybody gets six bounces to try and get your ball stuck in the middle. And then whoever doesn't do it is out. Then for the next round, you try and do it in five, and if they don't make it, they're out. Down to four, three, two, and only one bounce on the final round. And you just see who is the last person standing who gets it every time when everybody else falls out between the rounds. There are so many ways you can play the stuck in the middle challenge. I would love to hear what you do with it as well. Go ahead and leave us a comment or tag us on social media when you play as well. We would love to see what you do. For more boredom buster ideas that are easy to level up and turn five minutes of family play into 50 minutes where everybody has been bonding together, I will put a link to all of our boredom busters. I hope you enjoy them. If you do, make sure to subscribe to our channel, follow along with our account, and then also be sure to hit that button to let us know that you like this and want to see more fun boredom busters in the future. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.